Welcome or uh, welcome back, I need help at C squared. In this example, we're gonna have to need to find this limit limit when x approach to zero of one minus cosine of x over x. We're gonna do that by using the table here, a numerical way, and then we're gonna take a look to the graph to see if we have uh, the same result. And for doing this numerical way, the table, we just simply take the values in the table and plug it in. So I'm going to start with the first one, negative 0.1. And I'm going to plug it in this function. And then I'm going to evaluate the value of the function at negative 0.1. And that will be 1 minus cosine of negative 0.1 over negative 0.1. Use a calculator, be sure the calculator is in radian, and I end up with negative point zero five. Similar, you're gonna do the second one. I did the second one, and I end up with negative point zero zero five. And for the last one, in, the, in this left side of 0, negative 0 0.0001, I end up with this value in my calculator, negative 5 times 10 to the negative 4 power. So when the number is very close in me, my calculator is using scientific notation, but then it's, it's a number close to 0, a negative number, but still close to 0. The same story for... Num the first number that is greater than 0, this one, 0 0.01, when I put it in, I end up with 5 times 10 to the negative 4 power, a small number, close, close, close to 0. For 0 0.01, I end up with 0 0.005, and for negative, for, I'm sorry, positive 0.1, I end up with 0 0.049. And now let's take a look to this table. What's happened when we get closer to zero? When I go closer to zero from the left side, look at here what's happened. I get closer to a number that is close to zero. X getting close to zero from the left side. The function is getting closer and closer to zero. The same for the right side of zero. If I go closer from the right side to the zero, Look at here, I get closer to a number that is very, very small. It's closer to zero. So now looking to these two statements, we can say the limit on x approach to zero of f of x. This trigonometric function is nothing else than zero. Let's take a look to a graph here. This is the graph of 1 minus cosine of x over x. And you notice, once I get closer to 0 from the left side, the function is getting closer to 0. When I get closer to 0 from the right side, the function is getting closer to 0 also. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.